If your child has aspirations of being a college or a professional athlete, you know there's a lot of work that goes into it and they have to start young. Yeah, Lisa Misipeka is a three-time Olympian, 11-time NCAA All-American and a two-time NCAA champ. And now she's helping your kids get there as well in something called Beyond Today Sports. Lisa, it's nice a, to have you here. Institute. It's an institute. Awesome, yes. Uh, Hi. But it's, it's more than just sports, right? Yes, it is. Oh, it's multifaceted. What is it? Uh, Beyond Today Sports Institute started um, with a small dream, actually called, called Hype back in 1999 and it started with a with a duffel bag on my back with med balls ladders and uh <laughs> and then to kind of hopping through some fences to try mm -hmm. to help kids physically but as i was growing in my in my business i realized that i've been educating families my whole life mm -hmm. and with ncaa information um how to empower my child with the right math classes how do i meet my kid where they need me and that's when i realized after that small dream and coaching for 21 years at Division One level, realizing when I was getting kids at 18 years old that they were they were burnt out or they needed to be met somewhere. They had processing disorders. They couldn't survive in the classroom taking tests. They had to go to alternative learning styles. That's when I said, you know what? It's time to uh, bring it to uh, to to bring the college experience to the element K through 12. So and here we thought we were talking about sports. This is absolutely yeah. stunning. Yeah. Thank this, you. This is about life lessons yes. in sports, Absolutely. which we all know that sports helps people develop, helps kids especially yes. develop their social skills yes. and their later in life skills. Yes. So you're teaching kids as young as elementary school here at the Institute? Absolutely. Why? Because, How? Uh, yeah, because yeah. so we preach what's in your bag, your big audacious goal. It's not only do athletes have bags, right? Performers, artists, young children, kindergartners can be Olympians too. When somebody puts their child in your trust, yes. you are a person of great authority and great yes. credibility. So that's a good thing. So Beyond Today is much more than just, as I said earlier, a sports institute. It, it, it is a lot. We, we, we preach a village mentality. So you can call me auntie, you can call me grandma, <laughs> you can call me whatever you want because that, those days are over where families really do live near each other. So grandma and grandpa, they might be in a whole nother state. Right. Auntie and uncle might not be around. So who's going to hold your, your kid accountable while you're working these ruthless hours for another company <laughs> right. yeah. and your babies are somewhere? Right. And so I believe me, I grew up in the public school system. I adore it. I love it. I appreciate it. But there are resources that our families need. I, I want to talk about what, what exactly does Beyond Today Sports Institute offer. Obviously, we see kids working out yeah. and having fun, yeah. but they can also go to school with yeah. you, right? 100%. How does that work? So we have a system. We have a homeschool process. So we have the Beyond Today Sports Academy. So from 8 to 4, we can keep your babies. And what we'll do is we'll do four to five hours of academic prowessness wow. with our hired uh, master degree teachers that decide they didn't want to be kind of restrained by the traditional school uh, public school system. Mm -hmm. They wanted to offer more. They wanted to be flexible. If they knew that yoga was needed to get my kid to be a better mathematician, then let's do some yoga. If they knew that they needed to get a, an extra recess in, let's get an extra recess in before we do our English assignment. So we do four to five hours of academics. We do two hours of skill-specific work. And then we also have one hour of lunch, one hour, mm -hmm. because we preach that you should mingle during this time. Social Talk, aspects, yeah. socialize. Wow. How do you eat? and talk at the same time. Right. All of our business meetings are done at a restaurant. Sure. So these kids <laughs> should learn how to articulate themselves while they're eating, yeah. right? And let's talk about how we eat. Yeah. Do you eat respectfully? Is your mouth open like an animal? <laughs> Do you use your hands? But you've been watching me eat or yeah. something? <laughs> I love it. So I want to go. I just want to quickly touch on your career because you've had a remarkable career. You've been. You, you were in the. You were Thank in the Olympics. You. How many times? Three times. Three-time Olympian, and and you're a track and field. Or you, looks like you're doing a hammer throw. Right? <laughs> yeah, that yes, hopefully yes. That's, yeah. That is the hammer. That was my access to college. Yeah. My implement was my access in. Mm -hmm. My parents did not preach to me that you are valued based off of how far you throw or how many shots you can average in a basketball game. That was not who I was. That was my value system was, are you kind? Are you compassionate? Are you empathetic? Did you help that person up when you knocked them over? Because wow. I was, I did get the hammer award. I fouled out quite a bit <laughs> in basketball. I bet but you were tough in basketball, yeah. I was, you know what? These <laughs> elbows worked well. Yeah, you know, yeah, right? I, I had the heart of a 6'5 girl. Yeah. Right? So the WNBA 
WNBA wasn't really an option for me back in the day, and um, they really did push for me collegiately to go to West Point. They wouldn't allow me to <laughs> do basketball and track, but you ended I, up at UConn. I ended up. I actually ended up competing at University of South Carolina, oh. but I was coaching at UConn, which was weird. Yeah, the women's sure. basketball <laughs> program at UConn and South Carolina. Very competitive. Coach competitive. Staley is doing yeah. an amazing job at South Carolina, but then Gino Ariyama from UConn is phenomenal. I've, which takes me to having that village around myself right. from my parents, my grandparents, my cousins, then moving on to the relay, the, the baton was passed yeah. to my college coach. And then, but also I'm very, very proud. Not only was I a limited time NCAA All-American, but I was a five-time academic All-American. And what people don't realize is That's even though I, mean, I was a yeah. valedictorian in high school, four or five GPA, but my SAT scores for all of you out there was like a 720. Wow. Yeah. That's awful. It is awful. It's terrible. Yeah. Thank God for the sliding scale. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, so how do we get a hold so, of you at the, at the Institute? Uh, we have Beyond Today Sports Institute on Instagram. And I've learned these kids, they DM. Yeah, they do. <laughs> so yeah. you can DM us. There's a link in our bio that you can register to come on in. And uh, right now we are functioning in the Inland Empire area, but we're also dropping into facilities in Orange County, Los Angeles, down deeper into the San Diego areas. Our goal literally is to drop in. I don't care if you have two students that need help because you don't need to just come to the BTSI Institute in the uh, Inland Empire. We can bring the Beyond Today Sports Academies and our tutoring help and our, our, mind, our uh, high performance mindset training, mm -hmm. we can bring that on site to your private school, your public school, or just to your home school, or just to your living room. Fantastic. Well, Lisa, it's lovely to meet yes. you. You're doing great work. Thank Obviously, you. if you want to trust your, your child with anybody, these probably are the people that awesome. do that. It's Thank Beyond, you for coming in. Beyond You're Today welcome. Sports Institute, they do have a Y in their Beyond. They That's do. Right. Different <laughs> than ours. We'll Thanks be right so back.